shopping content that was released directly on their yo 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 what is good man what's good yo this one right here man is uh something different i gotta bring to the table man it's about your boy 50 man 50 cent man he was the guy man he still is to me man until i hear further notice man i mean yeah you hear speculations and things as such or allegations and you know we, we will see what, what what comes out to the light you know but uh i got something on this one man your boy 50 man he be trolling and he be trolling and uh if y'all know he tried to sign the 50 cent before i mean 50 cent tried to sign the diddy before and diddy wouldn't do it you know so that's why they got this little intertwined thing going on that 50 had made it and they kind of got their little mishaps or whatever the little small beef going on or whatnot his trolling 50 he's the biggest troller man you know much respect to him salute when he came out with g-unit man it was just a whole nother ball game man a whole new wave the game too man it was just this dude just he killed it man and you know i look at him as he's a he's a big dog in the game man he doing his thing man and um they saying back when, you know, Soldier Boy was coming out, him and Soldier Boy was together, man. And Soldier Boy was like 13, 14, or 15, something like that when he first came out. They saying that your boy Diddy, you know, uh, he did the Diddy. 50 did the Diddy. I, ain't, I don't mean to call him Diddy, but, you know, that they saying that, you know, he did the Diddy. He was grooming Soldier Boy, man. And, um, you know, they saying about the close-up pictures and all this and that, man, and Vivica Fox, she was talking her talk, man. She got mad. Of course, you know, she going to say what she got to say when she mad, with whether if it's true or not. I'm going to say allegedly, but she's saying that uh, him and Soulja Boy got them tapes, man. Like, like you know, like Dre, I just uploaded Dre. He said he had tapes, secret tapes in his stash, and one of them that got missing was uh, with Snoop. You know, so they saying that, um, you know, 50 got tapes. And, I mean, if you look, if you backtrack it, 50 assigned to M. Which they saying that, you know, it's a picture that's floating around now with 50 and M kissing. And if you backtrack M, he signed to Dre. You know, uh, they all under one umbrella. Just like Kendra, he's under that same umbrella. You know, 50, M, Dre, Kendrick. You know, so they saying that uh, 50 groomed Soldier Boy, man. And uh, Vivica saying that his tape's out and uh, whatnot. You know, it was a picture that was... With him and him kissing, man, this is this is crazy, man. Um, I never would have thought that about Fifty, but I mean, you gotta look at the industry too to be famous and to to be that big and the things that it takes to be that big and things you gotta do to be that big, you know. So for me, it's like not far fetched, but just looking at Fifty and the way he is and how he troll, it seems like he has nothing to hide, you know what I mean? And I ain't saying he do and I ain't saying he don't, but. I hope he don't, you know. I, I rock with Fifth Hard, you know what I mean? Um, but, yeah, y'all got to check this out, man. This whole entire situation out, man. Let me know what y'all think on this, man. You know, for me, it's something weird, something crazy that, I mean, I I, I overlooked it. And it's just like, you know, you, you're seeing it often now. It's just like, man, let me dive into it a little bit and see what's going on, you know. But... I just hope this is not correct, and, uh, man, you know, I salute to my boy Fifth, man. I rock with him, man, but I just hope it ain't true because, you know, how they say what's in the dark when it comes to the light, and, I mean, if they all hide and stuff, man, and if that tapes in his collection or if it's part of Dre collection or M, whatever, whatever they got going on, man, I just, I hope that they see what's going on with Diddy Camp and Jay-Z Camp, man, and they fix whatever need to be fixed right now, you know, um, the way Diddy trolled, you know, he trolled like he was the innocent person, and then look what happened. You know, he, he, he had all that evidence in his house for so many years, since the early 90s, and didn't get rid of it, have it in some secret, some place that, you know, that's not at his house, man. It's like, I don't get it, you know. Um, so, yeah, I hope I hope 50, you know, he he's solid as he say, man. And, you know, I mean, some people have mistakes, and mistakes can happen, but... You know, I don't want him to have no mistake like that, you know, to where he's in a cell with Diddy. And then these cartoons going to keep coming out, and then it's going to be with 50 and Diddy, you know. So it's just, I don't know, man. Y'all drop the comments. Let me know what y'all think on this, man. And while y'all edit, man, hit that subscribe button, man. I appreciate y'all as always, man. You know, all the support, man, everything, you know. Um, keep this one short and simple for y'all, man. I'm out, man. Soldier Boy did say that 
Disney took advantage of you. Man, <laughs> Shaq took advantage of that booty and so did 50 Cent. The whole world know that. So, ask the booty. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't want you to. Yeah, I don't know if I I mean, yeah, man. You know. Come on, bro. That fucks his homeboys. I've been doing I'm not with that. <laughs> I'm not with that shit, bro. So, do you think Soldier Boy gets invited to the Diddy parties? Ah, uh, no. No? That's not Diddy's type. <laughs> He don't do. He... <laughs> what the fuck? That's little. He. God damn. At least say Usher. <laughs> God fuck. Don't say that. That that that'll put him in a nuts. That's nasty. Usher was living with Diddy when he was a. I said at least say Usher. Okay. That's cool with me. He can be. That's, that's, that's Usher. Usher's cool. Leave Usher alone. He can do what he want to do. That's Usher. You got to understand that he passed his hazing and he. 50 Cent is trying to take down um, Diddy. No. He's trying to move Diddy and Jay Z out the way so he can run it. And the truth is, I ain't mad at him. I just don't trust him. Because the truth is, he would just be another kind of monster in another kind of way. He don't want things to change. He just want to be the one that's running it. See? Easiest thing to do is to take your, 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 your enemy's feet and hold them to the fire for things you know that they won't admit. Which is why when that C and D came out, he took all of that Diddy shit down. Because of his tape. Say, what is it with all of these pretenders? And now they got an even bigger one named Curtis Jackson. They should check the EPA report and the toxic waste he's been allowing to be dumped around the property of Millennium Studios for cheap cash. And I'm not saying allegedly, Curtis. I know what you've been doing. You don't get no f about what happens to those people in that town, but I do. I love the people in that town. I just wonder how you like that man I sent you. Because he really didn't think you was gonna go for him. You better do right by Shreveport or I'ma let everybody know that Diddy do wop bop ain't the only taste you got. 50 Cent exposed for hugging up on Soldier Boy after clowning little baby for getting hugged on. I'm like, damn, Fifth, they got you on this one, Fifth. They got you. You know you shouldn't throw stones if you live in a glass house. If you got a glass jar, better watch your mouth because I'll break your damn, Fifth. Yeah, they got a point on this, man. You are you, you are hugging up on Soldier, but Soldier don't look as awkward and uncomfortable as little baby, you know, yeah, you know, but hey. They got you on this one, Fifth. Let anyone who didn't know the story of what had went on with Fifth, this is what he's been through and this is where he's at now. Why don't we like go shopping or something? I mean, like, I pay for it. I was like, what the f this just say? Eminem and 50 Cent have had a solid and enduring friendship for quite some time now, stemming from Eminem's pivotal role in introducing 50 Cent to the music scene. Despite the ups and downs, their bond has stood the test of time, with Eminem always ready to step up and defend his buddy, as he recently did by giving Diddy a stern warning. We all know 50 Cent not only for his incredible beats and exceptional rap skills, but also for his widespread recognition for razor-sharp wit and off-camera roasting abilities. If there's one area where he truly excels, it's in delivering scorching verbal takedowns. 50 Cent has perfected the art of mercilessly poking fun at individuals from all walks of life, sparing no one within the music industry. While some have taken his banter in stride, others have engaged in verbal sparring. But there's no denying that 50 Cent's comedic onslaught shows no signs of slowing down. Throughout it all, his steadfast ally, Eminem, has consistently stood by his side. It's not just camaraderie, it's a shared disdain, perhaps even hatred for Diddy. Remember when Eminem dropped that bombshell about Diddy's alleged involvement in Tupac's demise? The rap world was thrown
thrown into a frenzy. Eminem's diss track aimed at Machine Gun Kelly garnered widespread attention, but it was that one line about Diddy that sent shockwaves through the industry. Eminem's verse goes, but this idiot's boss pops pills and tells him he's got skills. But Kells, the day you put out a hit's the day Diddy admits that he put the hit out that got Pac-K. Fans couldn't wrap their heads around the idea that Eminem was implying Diddy ordered Tupac's untimely end. It's amazing. Yeah. Some days I want to beat him up and other days I'm like, <laughs> 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 no. See, <laughs> I'm not fucking playing with you, man.